Well, hey there, everybody. Hopefully this video finds you well. We've got a can on the table here. So several times in rations, we've had kind of a beef stew consistency thing, either canned or whatever. And a lot of people in the comments point out Denty more. Now, this is something that most grocery stores will have on their shelves. It is a canned pre-made beef stew. You just heat it up. Um, I, I think, well, it's uh, yeah. So it is a, a division of Hormel. So there we go. I don't think, it probably didn't start as Hormel. I imagine they probably bought it along the way, although I could be wrong. But I figured today we'd try this out uh, and just kind of see, I don't know, give you a couple tasting points because a lot of people point to this uh, in the comments as being very close to a lot of the things we try in other rations. So let's take a peek at the back. Nutritional information, 200 calories in this. Uh, well, per serving, so it is two and a half servings. Um, so goodness, quick math, what, 500 calories per if I'm thinking about that correctly, uh, you guys can do math for me in the comments if I'm wrong. Big old sodium, so a lot of sodium in this. This is not necessarily good for you, um, but taking a look at the ingredients list, actually a pretty small bit of ingredients there. So I I'm not really mad at that, but they do salt the living crap out of this thing, don't they? I like here that you can do a little easy shepherd's pie. Actually, you know what? That would be funny. You could totally do that with like instant potatoes and then just put this on the bottom. Yeah, maybe I'll do that sometime uh, just as an experiment. But microwavable, not in the can. Don't microwave the can for God's sake. Uh, but <laughs> let's go ahead and pop the top here and see what, uh, what our innards look like. And that's what a can looks like. Now, some people, I guarantee there's going to be one person that's like, man, that looks like dog food. Heck, it might be. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and heat this up and uh, we'll come back and we'll try it out and we'll see if it's any good or not. All right, we're back. So everything should be nicely head up here. Um, boy, oh boy, I, it's kind of hard to, might not be so hard to show, but you see that sheen of just fat and grease like on the top of that? Oh boy. Aren't you glad I'm trying this one? All right, let's get into, uh, we'll get some meat and carrots and little potato there. It's just steaming hot, but look at that. All right, try not to burn my mouth. Mmm, they're hot. Mmm. Hot. And oh my goodness, that is salty. Wow. Wow. Wow, is that salty. Like, there is legitimately no need to make anything as salty as this is. Boy. Hmm. Doesn't help that I took that out and just put it in a bowl right after it was just straight boiling, too. So, oh, it's hot. Um, look, it's got a good beefy taste. You know, like a nice beef stew or whatever, you know, that it's trying to emulate the meat. There's a little chunk of that. Um, the meat is okay, but it kind of reminds me of like the little sirloin burgers and like uh, chunky, you know, the chunky sirloin burger soup. I used to love that as a kid. <laughs> How'd they get the little grill marks on it? You know, the potatoes are still nice. The carrots are fine. And it, it, it does. It has like a nice, uh, under all the salt, it is crazy beefy. You know, like you just did a roast in your crock pot all day. You know, it got thick and everything. But it, it tastes fatty. It tastes like really rich. And it's just so salty, it's kind of unpalatable. You know what I mean? So... In, in, you know, memory of some of the things that I've had in rations that people have kind of like pointed to Denty more, I think a lot of those things were less salty than this. This is just, it's insane. It, 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 it's insanely salty. 
Um, as far as quality control, one of the things I do like to look at is like fatty pieces on the meat. Um, and there, there were a couple pieces that I saw as, you know, as just sort of heating it up that did have a little bit of fat, but not, not as bad as some stuff does. Um, I did toss one, uh, potato because it had a big old black spot in it, which happens. But honestly, quality wise, it's not terrible. It's just so dang salty. It is remarkably salty. So would I recommend this? No, not really. Probably not. Um, unless you want to water it down and make it a much, much thinner soup to try and dissipate some of that saltiness. But it's not a terrible flavor. But when you just see the sheen of fat, on the surface of that, it's not something you want to be eating every day. However, on the flip side, you're going to get a big old punch of calories and, and, you know, maybe in the cold, you know, if you're whatever, I don't know, prepping in the winter, I guess you could put this out for winter stuff where, you know, you're just getting fat and so forth to store. But like, again, if you're going to be eating this, you better be active. (laughs) <laughs> you better be active, my friend. So there we go. Denty Moore, their beef stew. If any of you have tried this, let me know in the comments down below. What did you think? Do you think it's comparable to some of the other stuff we've seen and some of the rations we've been trying? Let me know. Comments are there for that. And leave me any uh, suggestions for future videos. Love hearing from you. If you'd like to send something in and be reviewed on the channel, the PO box is in the description, as well as the Patreon link if you'd like to support the channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.